Hey, so back with another video. This is another edition of Trading Hard Tuesday. I might be doing a Trading Hard Tuesday and a Trading Hard Thursday since it works on both. Because, you know, like I said, I have a lot of cards, so. Uh, yeah, so anyway, <clears throat> I found this bases loaded stars and rookies 250 cards. Um, it's assorted, it's from 1995 the boxes i don't know what cards you know i think they're just a mishmash of cards so i will be splitting it up into two videos since it is 250 cards uh you know we'll just run through them see what i got if anything jumps out i will let you guys know so First up, we got Willis Otanez, Dodgers top prospect. Good thing he didn't turn into anything because this card's bent. Uh, we've got Pete Incaviglia. We got a pinnacle Willie Green. And the Reds, Charlie Huff, Marlins. That's a top stadium club. So this is from '94, it looks like. Uh, so another one, Ben Rivera. Top Stadium Club, 94. Tim Tunfell, Padres, or Tim Tufel, Padres, the same, 94. Dave West. Phillies, 94, same card. Top Stadium Club, Chris Turner. Same, Just an ML debut card. I guess this was like a, an extra. I don't know. Uh, John Burkett. Giants top, top stadium club. Roger Pavlik. Rangers. Lee Gutterman, Cardinals, top stadium club. Ted Power, Mariners. Cliff Floyd, Expos. He was a good player for a while. Chad McDonald, Phillies. But now we're getting into different cards. This is a 94 upper deck. 
Vince Moore. You get Irvina. This is a Harrisburg Senators card, but this was the minor league team he played for. Um, I'm not sure which team this is. Oh, Expos. But he was on, I believe he was the closer in 1997 for the Marlins when they won the World Series. Ooh, this is cool. Lou Whitaker, Diamond Kings, Donruss. Uh, Chris Navholes, Expos. Ooh, Robin Yount. That's a good card. Top Stadium Club. Well, I don't think it's a good card, but, you know, he's a good player. Great player, Hall of Famer. We got Randy Myers. He's a pretty good closer back in the day. Uh, we got Tim Belcher, Brent Main, Royals. We've got Marvin Freeman, Braves. John Russell, Rangers. Eric Hansen, Mariners. Scott Aldridge, Aldred, Rockies. Mitch Williams, Phillies. Dave Martinez, Giants. Derek May, Cubs. He's a pretty good first baseman. I think he was a first baseman, unless I'm getting him confused with someone else. Uh, Mike Moore, Tigers. Chris Hoyles, Orioles. Rob Butler, Blue Jays. Chris Gomez, Tigers. Kirk Presley, Pirates. Oops. Oh, no, Kirk Presley is the Mets. This is Rob Walk, Bob Walk, Pirates. Uh, 
was traffic card. Never became anything, so. We got John Flaherty, Red Sox. Played for the Yankees, too. He was a pretty good backup catcher for them for a few years. And now he's actually the announcer, one of the TV announcers for them. Alvi Lopez, Indians. Milt Kyler, Tigers. Roberto Kelly, Reds. He's a pretty good player, role player, back in the early 90s, early to mid 90s. Julian Tavares. Oh, that's a cool card. Pinnacle. See? That's a cool one. I think he was pretty good, too. Um, Paul Kilgus. Name does not ring a bell. And it's a rookie card. Oh, well. Matt Whiteside. Rafael Novoa. Midre Cummings. Gerald Williams. Not Bernie. Gerald. Dave Henderson. A's. He was pretty good for the A's for a while. A little before my time, though. We got another Pete Incaviglia. This time we have a uh, Pacific collection. Uh, I don't think they exist anymore. And we got uh, Andy Van Slyke, Pirates, another Pacific collection. Then we got uh, Doug Brocale, another Pacific collection. Bob McClure, Marlins, another. Oh no, this is a. Um, Top Stadium Club. Scott Champerino. Marlins. Jack Armstrong. Marlins. Jerry Don Gleeden, Marlins, back when they were the Florida Marlins. Uh, Jose Silva, 
not much star potential because he didn't amount to much. Uh, Gerald Clark, Rockies. Jeff Parrott, Rockies. Roberto Mejia, Rockies. Scott Aldred, Rockies. Quinton McCracken, Rockies. David Need, Rockies. Pat Mears, Twins. Steve Decker, Marlins. Ninety-three. So this was the first year of the Marlins. I wonder if those are worth anything. Then we got Jeff Juden, Phillies. Joey Hamilton, Diamond Debuts, Upper Deck, Padres, Willie Banks, Cubs, Todd Dunn, not sure what team he is. Uh, I think it's just a prospect card, not a specific. It's kind of cool though. It's kind of shiny and reflective. And we got Randy Tomlin, Pirates. John Eric Frisco, A's, the Unrest rookie card. Is Don this around? I don't know. Darren Douglas Ray Reed. Expos. Brian Barber. This is high school yearbook photo. <laughs> 91 graphic. Yeah, so he was drafted out of high school, so it must be his high school yearbook photo. <laughs> it's funny. Tim Burke, Mets. Mike Vilecki, Braves. Thomas Andrew Brunanski.
Shakar Cardinals. Oh no! Oh, Marlins in the it's an expansion draft card. That's cool. So he was on the Cardinals, and when the Marlins came into the league in '93, they selected him to be on their team. Not probably mean means he wasn't very good because he was left unprotected. So Alonzo Powell, Mariners. Eric Hansen, Mariners. Hal Morris, Reds. Mike Campbell, Mariners. Stanton Cameron. That's interesting. It's a minor league card, too. Face Sox. I think that's the Orioles. Or at least it is now. Minor league teams change a lot, so... Because they're not owned by the major league team, but they, well, some of them are. Some of the minor league teams are owned by the major league team, but others are, there's an agreement. So the major league team and the minor league team have an agreement for a certain number of years. And then after that set number of years, they either renew their agreement or they usually, sometimes they switch, which usually is because of geographical reasons. You know, teams usually like to have their minor league teams close to them geographically. So we got Tim Vanigmond, no idea who this is. It looks like he's 12. Well, actually, no, he doesn't. He's got a little face. Uh, We got Brian DuBose. Tigers. Julio Bruno. Padres. That... David Bell, Indians. So he was a pretty good player for the Indians. You know. Then we got Tavo Alvarez. Not sure. Oh, Expos. John Detmer, Rangers prospect. Aaron Holvert, 
Arnold's prospect. Hector Trinidad. Cubs prospect. We got uh, Orlando Miller, Astros prospect. Bring out your trash cans. Joe Oliver, Reds. And if you guys don't, if anyone watching doesn't understand the trash can reference, the uh, Houston Astros used trash cans to relay signs from the outfield to the team in 2017 when they won the World Series. So that's why you always bang trash cans around the Astros fans. Darren Dalton, yeah. Darren Dalton, Phillies, good player. Jeff King, Pirates. Chip Hale, Twins. Ed Sprague, uh, Blue Jays, and then James Baldwin, White Sox. Another cool card, but would have been cooler if there was like a good player on it. But yeah, so that is part one of the Faces Loaded box. Um, got a couple of decent players, but nothing that, I mean, the Robin Yam card is probably the best player we got. I don't know if any of these cards are worth anything. Probably not. Because, you know, none of them were like special cards. I don't, you know. And I think this. Judging by the box, it's just a bunch of random nothing. You know, I guess I guess you could have gotten really lucky and gotten like a Derek Jeter rookie card a couple of years later. Or, you know, a couple of years earlier, a Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card out of here. But... I think for the most part, it's just a lot of random, random nothing. Um, so yeah, I will. Yeah, that's that's the end of the first video. You guys know what to do. Hit that like button below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you're notified when my videos drop. Um, what else? Comment below. Maybe you did a card catch your eye that you're like, oh, that's cool. Ah. I mean, hopefully... Uh, 
there's something good in the next one in part two. But, um, but, uh, yeah, so that's it. As always, I have my, uh, Saturday show comic books. I will, I show off what I got from the week. I may be changing that up a little. I don't know. Well, I'm I'm thinking about changing the time a little to later to a little later in the day, like three Eastern instead of one Eastern. I mean, I still want to keep it in the afternoon because everything happens at night. But you know, I may show. I don't know. I may. You know, but also whoever's on with me is free to show off what they got over throughout the week. And I want to have people on every week. My goal is to have people on every week who are a little, who are more knowledgeable than me in comics. And then I have the sports show on Sunday on Two Boys and Their Pops channel with Fox Crown, Pop Scott, Will Be Poppin', sometimes Funkolo, sometimes Mr. Techbot, sometimes, who knows? Uh, now that StreamYard allows 10 people, um, you know, like last, uh, the last episode, or one of the, yeah, the last episode we had, um, I think nine people at the most. You know, I think that we had nine people at one point on the stream. So, you know, and. It's fun. Go check it out. We just talk about sports and stuff and we go on tangents and you know, it's not we don't really have a set schedule, you know, it's not we don't have we're not going like we're talking about this and we're talking about this and we're talking about this. We kinda just have one theme and then it, we see where it goes. So it's a fun one. Check it out if you have nothing to do on the middle of the day on a Sunday or check out the replay. That's fun. Um, that is it. You know, I have, a, I have a bunch of mystery boxes waiting to be open so I will be recording those videos soon and putting them up whenever in the future, sometime in the future. And that's it, all right? So stay tuned for the part two, either on in two days or next week or something. But they'll be back to back, part one and part two. I just don't know when. I th well, part one's gonna be out. And then I think, I don't know. We'll see. All right, bye.